Good morning, everyone. This is Curtis Hawks, Chief Marketing Officer with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. And I want to thank you all for being on the call with us today. Uh, we've got some really good information that uh, we're going to be going through today, which is all about digital marketing and how to how to prospect and market uh, in a digital age, which is what we're in right now. Uh, before we get into that, I did want to talk about some additional ways that IMS can help support your business. Uh, one of those is with our new producer builders. So we know uh, every agent and advisor is different and there's different things that they're doing marketing wise. And one of the things that we want to be able to do is help partner with you. And so you'll see here, if you're a new producer with us, there's a variety of different options uh, that you can take advantage of as you're producing business with us uh, for us to partner with you. And you know, one of the core themes that you'll find about IMS is customization of services. So if you've got something that you're doing right now that's working well for you, reach out and talk to one of the sales directors over here about how we can help support you on that front as well. In addition to that, we've got our referred producer program for those agents and advisors that are working with us that like what we're doing. If you happen to know somebody who uh, is looking to make a change, send them our way. Uh, not only will you get a $50 bonus when they get contracted, you'll get an additional $100 bonus uh, when they place their first piece of business. And then on an ongoing basis, you'll get additional revenue from their production. You don't have to do anything. We'll take care of all the service and uh, work with them, but uh, you'll get checks on a quarterly basis. And, you know, honestly, those are some of the biggest checks that we we cut out. In addition to that, we've got our marketing reimbursement programs. And so for $100,000 of index annuity premium, you can accrue an additional $100 and then uh, an additional $200 on uh, 100000 for single premium life or for every 10000 of target. And so it's a great way to double the size of your advertising budget um, with doing business with us. Back office support, I, you know, I really think there, there's been a spotlight put on back office support over the course of the last year. Everybody says they have good, have, have good service and that they've got good support, but I think as we've seen over the last year with insurance companies uh, having staff work remote, it has really uh, caused some challenges out there. And so having a really good team at your IMO who's there to from case design to new business processing to new business follow-up and making sure things go smoothly, it's critically important. I think it's really put a spotlight on uh, the importance of having a good team working for you at the in, in the back office. Uh, again, the topic of today's conversation is about digital marketing. And um, one of the things that go along with that is e-applications and being able to, once you've got a prospect that wants to move forward, uh, being able to do an e-application. And so I do want to mention that we integrate with Firelight on the website. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a number of insurance companies that we work with through that platform, all of your top carriers, uh, and we're constantly working on adding additional companies. So I wanted to make that point there. Creative marketing solutions. I, I think creative is, is really a good term for this. Uh, one of the things that we've found over the course of the last year, and probably many of you listening to this have found, is that just trying to repeat and do the same things month after month like we did pre-COVID doesn't necessarily work. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on throughout the country, a lot of different things that can impact your ability to prospect and market. And so one of the things that we found uh, is that we had to expand out our, our marketing offerings. And then also, you've got to really take a customized approach. One thing that might work in one city and state might not necessarily work in another, depending on if people are going to work or not or what have you. And so one of the things that we developed last year was our custom marketing analysis process. And what we'll do is we'll actually go in, look at your local geographic area, look at how you're marketing, what your marketing assets are, what your goals are, what your target demographic is, and then we'll put together a customized marketing plan for you with what we think makes the most sense based off your area. And so I would, I would encourage everyone, if you haven't taken advantage of that free service, reach out and talk to your sales director. Uh, they can get that set up for you, but we found it to be uh, very effective and gives a lot more clarity with what's going on in your local marketplace. Uh, the IMS website, uh, again, we have, we have continued to add to that and it is a great resource, uh, whether it's 
running live for annuity quotes, getting rates, uh, downloading forms, uh, or even, again, as I mentioned, e-applications, which uh, I want to make this point as well. In addition to Firelight, we do integrate with iPipeline. So for those of you that are selling life insurance, that is a great platform to be able to do e-applications and with some of the carriers even do e-deliveries. Uh, but we've got a wealth of resources on there. Uh, I would also mention as well, if you haven't taken a look at our sales resource library, you need to. Um, again, a, a lot of people are doing business virtually. And so the need for uh, clear, concise, simple, easy to understand presentations to explain a variety of topics is critically important. And so we literally have hundreds of presentations and point of sale pieces that you can present virtually in our sales resource library. On And, and, and I'm not kidding when I say a variety of topics, whether it's annuities, life insurance, IRAs, 401ks, trusts, um, going, I mean, just virtually every single topic you could think of, we've got a presentation on it on there. So I would encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, in addition, again, talking about transacting business virtually and, and, and marketing digitally, uh, being able to articulate uh, complex ideas in a simple and straightforward manner is critically important. And one of the ways that we do that and support our agents is through the use of Retirement Analyzer. Uh, it's a great software platform that answers a lot of those questions that are bouncing around in a prospect's head. All going back to, am I gonna run out of money in retirement? And in a very simple and easy to understand way, it articulates whether they're on track to hit their retirement objectives or if they're not and set you up in a position to be able to say, well, if we're not, here's how we can solve that to generate that business. IMS Wealth Management, um, you know, right now is a great time. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking to uh, get your 65 or maybe uh, you're an IAR and you're not quite happy with your current relationship, give Charles and his team a call. Uh, it's, it's a great time to add this to your practice. Um, they actually just recently crossed the 100 million threshold mark, which was a huge deal. Uh, I would also encourage you, uh, we had our Ascend event a few weeks ago. We did record everything on there. And so he does a great presentation about the opportunity in the marketplace and what differentiates them as well. But if you've got questions on that, feel free to reach out, talk to your sales director. They can get you in contact with them. Uh, last, before we get into the uh, main stage, I did want to mention that we recently announced our uh, 2022 marketing summit, and we are going big. Uh, this is a Mediterranean cruise over the course of a week uh, going around the boot of Italy, but it's going to be an amazing experience, and uh, everything is high-end, concierge-level cabins, uh, drinks. Uh, it's going to be an amazing experience. Uh, for our advisors. So qualification has kicked off. It's 4.5 million points to qualify. I would encourage you to uh, reach out to your sales director, chat with them. They can get you a good flyer on it and uh, answer any questions that you have on it. But it's going to be an, a, just an absolutely amazing experience. And we're really excited about that and being able to uh, experience that with our agents and advisors. So uh, with that, I wanted to introduce introduce Brad Swinehart, he's VP, uh, Vice President over at White Glove. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, the, the, the marketing landscape has changed. A lot of advisors were used to doing a certain uh, form of advertising uh, pre-COVID, and they would just repeat that month after month after month. And you can still do that in this day and age, but it does look different. Uh, things, as we all know, have shifted towards digital marketing, um, and so if you're going to utilize that as a way to get in front of people, you want to make sure that you're using the right platforms, using the right systems in order to, to generate that consistent flow of prospects. So um, we've got Brad on the, the line here. He's going to kind of take us on a, a deep dive of who White Glove is, what they do, how they can help people. I would also mention they were a sponsor at our Ascend event here a few weeks ago. They also have their on-demand page still up. Again, we recorded everything, so that way we could have uh, agents continue to go back there um, and watch videos. So uh, if you've got questions, obviously we want you to give us a call, but that's an, that, that Ascend microsite is another great way to uh, learn more about uh, Brad and his team and what they do. So Brad, with that, I'll go ahead and hand it over to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And are you able to see my um, screen okay? Can you hear me okay? 
yep, yep, could see it just fine. All right, perfect. So yeah, we'll we'll do a little deep dive here, and if there's the ability to ask questions, feel free to do that. Um, I love getting questions, and we can answer all of those. And there's there's going to be some special deals for you know IM's advisors as well, um, because Curtis is really good at twisting my arm to make sure you guys always get the best. So we'll we'll kind of cover that today as well, and probably you know just taking a step backwards, very high level, what White Glove is is we're founded by financial advisors. They they built their very successful practice um, doing seminars for 30 years and quite frankly they hated it uh, because it was a lot of work they spent a lot of money they took a lot of risk you know and they'd have plenty of times where no one would show up or they'd put the wrong phone number on there or it, at the end of the day they were paying for marketing efforts not on actual performance and then they had to do all the work of coordinating the events so what they wanted to do was really create a service that just did everything for advisors and took all that financial risk off the advisor's plate. We really came onto the scene in 2015 with a model where we booked venues, we did all the marketing, we handled all the registrations, the advisors paid us after, and they paid us only on attendance. And that business model really catapulted us um, for the last five years. We were just um, just about to hit our most successful month ever in March, where we had 900 in-person seminars booked all across the country, and instead we did zero. So we were very much on the same side as advisors of, okay, well, how do we adapt to virtual? What kind of processes do advisors need in this environment? How long is it going to last? When can we get back to doing seminars? All those same questions that advisors were asking themselves, we were asking ourselves as well. And in 2020, what that really allowed us to do is, is explore other ways to really help advisors with that same mentality that, hey, advisors should be focused on talking to prospects and meeting with clients and nothing else. They shouldn't be trying to become marketers. They shouldn't be worried about what Mark Zuckerberg's doing in the back office of Facebook. They shouldn't be analyzing mailer performance to see what attendance rates are going to be. You know, and they shouldn't be planning events. Let us do that for them. Let us take the financial risk. And let's do that for every service that we offer. And 2020 was a great year for us as far as reinventing ourselves, coming back out with very helpful tools. And um, we're going to go into what that means for advisors and what we've, what we've come up with. One of the biggest um, things that we, that we love that we think is the, the best part about White Glove is, is handling that work but also taking the financial risk where advisors are only paying based on attendance. So that would be a seminar. You're only paying after the event. You pay only on the households that show up, never on the marketing efforts, never on the registrations that we take. The same thing with webinars. You're only paying for the households that log on. We're not dinging you for a, a man and a wife and two registrations. We're only charging you if they log on and, and view the webinar. And what we just launched, very soft launch that I'm, I'm happy to tell you guys about today, um, but is not public knowledge yet, is our one-on-one -on -one direct workshops where people sign up for a direct meeting with the advisor on their calendar. They do a virtual first meeting to cover an informational topic. And again, the same business model where advisors only pay with those prospects they actually get to talk to. So seminars are coming back. It's very slow. It is unsteady. Um, one thing that White Glove supports is both educational seminars, so libraries, community centers. We actually will book the venue. We, we pay for any of the insurance that's needed, and then um, we secure everything on behalf of the advisor, so you don't have to do that. We'll look into the marketing at the same time to make sure it's got a good reach. There's going to be good attendance, X, Y, and Z. And then also um, we support food seminars. We ask the advisors book the restaurants themselves with food seminars, but we do handle all the same um, the same logistics and making sure that people actually attend. And I would just note that, you know, in some areas, what we're seeing best is, you know, if the, if the libraries and the restaurants are opening back up and people are comfortable with the COVID policies at those establishments, sometimes more, more established policies at a restaurant than a, you know, a local library. Um, but there's also a group of your prospects that will forever want to do things virtually now. They've, they've been given that option and they don't ever want to um, go back to restaurants or they're not comfortable yet at a library. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. You know, I, there's a lot of advisors that are eager to get back to seminars and so are we. And as those things open up, we are definitely going to be excited to 
to get advisors back in front of crowds. And, and I think now more than ever, the business model where advisors are paying only on attendance is going to be crucial as these things open up in a very unsteady environment. But I don't want you to miss out on the opportunities that are out there when it comes to webinars. And we're going to talk about what White Glove does to make sure that you're successful. But the probably the most important number on this page right here is the fulfillment rate. And what that means is, is 85% of the time, if an advisor says, I want to speak to 20 new households, that 85% of the time, White Glove is getting them 20 new households to sign up for that webinar or to, to attend, excuse me, to attend that webinar. And that's the thing that I think that advisors struggle with the most is saying, you know, webinars don't work, no one shows up, or hey, it's hard to convert. Um, so we have built a process to really help with conversions on webinar, and we'll kind of go through a very high level of exactly what that breaks down to. But the most important stat on there is if you want to talk to 20 new households in March and you want to do that on a webinar, 85% of the time we're likely going to be able to hit that for you and bring that desired amount of leads to your table. So um, some of the cool things that we realized in the webinar space that uh, we were very happy to add into our services and, and what we saw started working better and better and better is that, you know, live tech support was 100% needed. So every event that White Glove runs, we put a human being that actually runs the webinar platform for the advisor. They make sure there's no tech issues. They make sure the sound and the video is working well. They make sure that the the people on the webinar can log in and that they can see everything just fine. And then they handle all the polls and the pop-ups and the calendar invites. We do all of that for the advisor down to the point where we actually have advisors that do rebroadcasted recordings. So it appears live. Um, we coach you absolutely on how to do that and best practices with scoring and editing and making sure that the presentation is, is not perfect, but man, is it converting. And then what we do is we run all those engagement polls and pop-ups. So you can actually record this ahead of time. We play it live for the attendees. We run those polls. I have advisors doing eight webinars a month, and they never attend a single one. They put their assistant on there to handle the chat, and then they just sit back and work the appointments off of it. One of the nice things that we saw immediately off the bat is that advisors that who would call the registrants immediately after the event were seeing a huge increase in attendance rate. So it's a little bit, or sorry, in, a, in appointment rates. And it's a little bit different than um, a seminar, right? Where a seminar, they drive home, you know, you maybe try to wrestle them on the phone the next day. Or as a webinar, you know they're available because they just sat in front of their computer for 45 minutes. So when you call them, that they're likely to pick up and they're the warmest they're ever going to be. So they're going to book that meeting right there. Well, White Glove actually hands that, handles that first round of appointment setting calls by our professionally trained call center on your behalf. So we'll do that for you as well. So not only do we run the events, we make sure the recording looks really, really great. We run all the pop-ups and polls. You or your staff can just sit back and, and run the chat. And then we do the first round of calls after each webinar to book appointments. What's nice as well is we've actually built into the system um, during the marketing phase that people can opt in and say they're highly interested in an appointment. So on average, we're seeing about five or six registra registered households already say, hey, I want an appointment. And that's during the registration process. So those are nice hot leads and we, we push those over to you as well. So we kind of covered most of the stuff on here. Just real quick, the full contact information, you get that for everyone who registers for your event. So you're only paying for a household that log on. Let's say we take 50 registrations and only, and only two log on. You're only gonna pay for those two However, you're going to get all of the contact information for everyone who registered and anyone who didn't show up is totally free. So that's included. You get their name, their phone number, their email address. You can follow up with a recording of the webinar and then try to book appointments off of that. We're going to help you with that. We have a, a, a free service that helps try to book appointments after the event. But anyone who doesn't show up is totally free and you get that contact information. And the advisors that utilize that and follow up they're seeing just as much success with the no-shows as they are from the people that attended. So after the event, we're gonna do that round of calling. We're gonna have what we call our post-engagement nurturing program. And it's, it says it's actually 90 days here, but we've actually shortened it down to 50 and made it much more engaging. So what we did is actually, instead of a long drip sequence, 
we added in a lot of calls to action and, and are seeing the most success with a 50 day campaign, but it's all professionally written. It's an email follow-up sequence that goes out to every registrant who didn't book a meeting with you. And then we actually encourage them to book directly on your calendar, totally free after every single event, you just opt into this program and for 50 days, they're going to get dripped on and nurtured and encouraged to book meetings with you. So we handle all of that for you. One of the nice things as well is, you know, we've over the last 18 months is we've tested probably 80 to 90 different topics. Anything an advisor said, oh, I want to try this and I want to try that. And anything we could dream up of, we said, oh, let's try this. Let's see if people will show up to that. Let's see what the quality of people that show up to this type of event would be, right? What we're able to do is, is pair our green zone technology, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute, with our best performing topics. So instead of an advisor guessing what type of mailer will work best or what type of you know digital mailer or digital ad spend will generate registrations and then you know people will actually attend, what we've done is we've tested all those topics and we've come up with three that very consistently perform well. Now taxes and retirement can continues to be our best performing topic and our most requested topic by advisors. And you get a very high quality in that room and you get a very consistent turnout. Social security, I would say, is a little bit wider net, as we all know. So you're gonna get, probably, and, you know, these are very general terms, right? And I understand that, but you're gonna get a little bit lower quality, but you're gonna get more people at those events. But one of the interesting things is I wanna point out is estate planning. Estate planning tends to have the quote unquote highest quality advisors report back the biggest asset sizes for these types of events and what's interesting about estate planning generational planning um, the message there tends to attract high net worth individuals who are concerned with passing down their wealth to their grandchildren and if you think about that marketing message that's that's only going to be applicable to people that have wealth now the interesting thing about it though is that the demand the consumer demand for estate planning events outpaces the advisor's supply. So I have more people that want to sign up for an estate planning event right now than I do have advisors that are willing to teach them. Because a lot of advisors are very comfortable talking about taxes and how it affects your retirement, but not as many are comfortable talking about estate planning and how all of your retirement assets factor into that. So if you want to kind of get ahead in your area, that is something I would definitely look into. Um, but those three uh, topics seem to perform very well. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to work with you on your, your practice to see what fits best. And then we're going to look into our marketing area using what we have called or coined green zone technology. So at any given time, there's a, a, a flux where marketing is going to be successful. So what we'll do is we'll look at a workshop map using you know, pulling different ad sets in to see what type of events are running in a 60 day period in any given geographical area. Then we layer on top of that demographic and financial information so that we can see which ones are going to be high desired as far as your direct audience. And then what we do is we layer in the digital advertising demand and the probable efficacy of that targeted audience in that area. So at any given point, your ideal prospect could be getting served a barrage of ads or zero ads. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at that to say, hey, this event will work or no, this event won't work. And right now we're actually layering in COVID data as well so that we can see that as far as attendance and um, you know, what areas to kind of stay away from. When you combine all of these things, the topic, the, the marketing research, what we're able to identify is areas that have higher demand and less saturation. And that result is what we would call a green zone. And what we do is we provide that data back to you. So when you work with us, you're not just placing an order, filling out a form and saying, hey, do marketing here. What you're doing is saying, hey, this is, this is how many households I want to speak with. This is the topic that I'm most comfortable with. And this would fit my practice. And then we're going to look into your area and you're going to say, these are where my best clients come from. And at that point, we're going to look in there. We're going to identify, yes, that topic will do well. This is the time that we should do it. And there's no more guessing on, on the advisor's part of what's going to work. There's no more diminishing returns as far as you oversaturating your own area by doing too much marketing. We're going to take care of that and avoid causing poor attendance and be able to kind of get out ahead of that. And I, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but most of our successful advisors that have utilized webinars are using a rebroadcast system. And essentially what that is, is 
we're going to record it, we're going to work with the advisor, we're going to make it appear live, we're going to handle questions and answers in the recording so that it appears live to everyone who logs on. Um, but we're going to first audit that with the advisor to make sure that it's high converting. The last thing we want you to do is practice in front of prospects. So we're going to make sure that this is very high converting and we're going to run those question and answer, we're going to run those polls, we're going to run that call to action during the event to keep your attendees very engaged and paying attention. And that's something that um, we're going to do for you. And it seems to work very, very well to keep people on and keep people engaged. One thing that we found out right off the bat doing webinars is that it's a totally different mindset than doing seminars. It can be very, very effective, but you need to adapt to that business model. You need to adapt to not being able to see your audience. You need to be able to adapt to it's got to be shorter, it's got to be faster paced. If you notice now, I've already gone through 20 slides and we've only been talking for 15 minutes. There's usually more slides because that's what people are looking at. So you want to keep it engaged. You want to keep the, the process moving forward. But essentially what we wanted to do is support advisors in successfully transitioning into webinars, having um, a robust training and making sure they're really, really great at them. And this, this does have seminar um, tactics in it as well when we get back to it. But what we've done, and I will be very honest with you, we don't make any money on this. We, all the costs that we get from this training program pays for the presenters that run it. And we don't, we don't make anything. We just want our advisors to be more successful with the products that they're using with us. And even, this will be great even if you don't use us, right? You could go use, you know, leading response or somebody like that that, you know, has that, you know, pay for marketing mentality if it's working well in your area, but this would still be beneficial to you. So it trains you on webinars, it trains you on seminars, and for the $5.99, you actually get personal private coaching with seminar mastermind Frank Maselli for an entire year. So for 600 bucks for an entire year, if you plan on doing any events at all this year, even if they're not with like love, I strongly recommend you look into our host university service. So the cost for seminars, webinars, dinner events, that's going to be here. You guys aren't going to pay that. We're going to get you a nice little discount here for being with IAMS off the first um, off your first event with us. Um, but essentially, you're only paying for the households that attend. So if we're at, sitting at a 40% um, attendance rate, for example, and you order 20 households, we're actually going to get you 40 to 50 registrations and keeping in mind that 60% of those are totally free for you. If only 17 households attend, you only pay for 17 households. And that's even when we're back and doing library and dinner events. If something happens, COVID spikes, only two people show up, you're only paying for those two households that show up. You always pay after the event. We're not getting paid on our marketing efforts. We're getting paid on results. So you're, you're going to actually have all of this set up, done for you. You're going to stand in front of an audience, either virtually or in person, and then you're going to pay the bill afterwards. Um, typically, an order is 20 households and two events over a seven-day period, maybe a Monday evening and a Thursday afternoon. So that is really our solutions here when it comes to seminars, webinars. If you're looking to fill the top of that funnel and you want to do it very risk-free and you want us to do all of the work, those are our solutions for that. And what I want to talk about next is a, is a slight transition to that, and that's our Social Connect program. What this is built to be, Social Connect, is a full nurturing platform across every social and digital channel that is important to make sure your clients and your prospects hear from you on a regular basis the way they want to. And what that does is it keeps you top of mind. The number one reason clients leave their advisor, and it's been this way for years, is because they don't feel communicated with. We're here to solve that problem for you and also make sure that if you've ever paid for a prospect, whether it's with White Glove or somebody else in the past, if you've ever paid for a prospect, and then six months and eight months from now, they think, man, I really have some questions that you're the only person they can think of to reach out to. And we're going to handle that for you. So what we do is utilize a multi-channel approach. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, we do an email campaign, and we do updates to your website. And the content that we use is fueled in two fashions. The first is fully licensed content from top publishers. So Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Bloomberg, New York Times, you know, probably 20 or 30 others. 
And what the what I mean by fully licensed is is there's never an ad on it. We bring it into the system, we brand it to you, and then that is what's shared. And if it gets shared 17, 30 times, twice, no matter how many times that gets pushed out across text or email or social, it's always going to have your branding on it, and it's always going to have the ability for that that new reader to connect with you. So we can customize your feed so it only talks about the articles and the topics that you want. When we bring in the top 10% of content, we curate it into our system so that we can categorize it and totally optimize and customize the approach to you and your ideal prospects. So this is what an article would look like when we send it out. It's gonna have your picture on it, it's gonna have your branding. There's gonna be the ability right here for them to book a meeting with you. And no matter how many times it's shared, this branding is going to stay, right? So you see Forbes, you see the advisor, there's an instant transference of credibility. Just as an example, this is what that content looks like on the website, right? Instead of seeing Barron's and the advisor, and there's ads, there's paywalls, most likely, oh, look at this, there's probably a competitor on there that's trying to get your, your prospect's attention. We clean all of that off on there. We add in a lead form for new readers so that anyone that reading this content can have the option to, to talk to you directly. And then we're gonna go one step above that. So it's not just news content. We're also gonna run a quarterly Facebook Live with you as the expert. So you're gonna come on, you're gonna do an interview on anything that you'd prefer to do an interview on. And it's usually five to seven minutes. All your contacts on Facebook get notified, you know, that are following your business account. They're all gonna get notified that you're going live and they're gonna have the opportunity to watch that video. And then we're also going to supplement your account with a calendar that says, hey, this is personal content that we think that you should share on those types of platforms. So really what we, what is, when it comes down to social media, we're going to do 90% of the work. We want you to do 10% of the fun stuff. Um, and this content, how we share it is not just social media. It's not just, just email. We share it across all of your social platforms. So the three main social media sites that you need to be relevant on is Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And they all have different purposes. They all have a different online culture. They all have different ways to reach your ideal prospect, but we're gonna handle that for you. Next is we have a built-in CRM that's gonna handle email newsletters once a week. We're gonna monitor your open rates. We're gonna see what, what is optimal for your database. We can add up to 5,000 contacts into that CRM, and then they're gonna start getting your email newsletters once a week. So you can, you can kind of, Take that off your plate of having to come up with content because we're going to write that stuff for you. But it's all going to be branded to you. It's going to be very nice looking materials. It's going to be across social. You know, that quarterly Facebook Live, we're actually going to turn that into an ad for you and push that out um, across Facebook with paid ads behind it to drive more attention to your personal branding and your personal page or your personal business page on there so people know who you are. And this is just added into the service. There's not an additional fee for that. Um, the crafted weekly newsletters, three times a month, and this is, this is based on data that we see as optimal, three times a month, up to 5,000 contacts are gonna get a newsletter that contains six highly engaged with articles. Now, once a month, we're gonna send one that is dedicated to try to convert your email subscribers to follow you on social. And what that's going to do is anytime one of your prospects hops online is we want them to have the opportunity to see your face, to see content, to interact with you if possible. So that in six months, nine months, you know, 10 months from now, when they say, you know what, I've got a question that you're the only person they can think of. And we're also going to send a, a we're going to create code to your website so we can push this content directly to there to keep it very up to date. So if somebody does come to your website, they're going to see that you're, you're alive and well, that you're sharing good content, and that there's new articles pushed onto the content or pushed onto your website at a regular basis. Now, what we do is we we run hundreds and hundreds of accounts for financial advisors, and we use all of that data to find the best practices for your account. So instead of you or someone in your, your office trying to analyze one point of data and make a decision from there, we're analyzing hundreds and hundreds of data points and that's how we're optimizing your account. And the best part is, in true white glove fashion, is this is done for you. 
most of our advisors will never log in to the Social Connect platform. You have full access to this. You can get in there and do any custom customization you want. You can send to your cardos. You can build your own newsletters. It's your full access to the tool. But the real service level of White Glove is that there is a dedicated professional that runs this account for you all year long. So you get 12 months of a human being running social media, email um, campaigns, and updating your website. You get 12 months of that all baked into the service totally for free. So at this point, all we really need to do is convert, you know, one or two of your cold prospects into a client. Maybe we keep one client from leaving you because now they feel communicated with, or, you know, with this, this system, maybe there's a, a, a strong possibility that you're going to generate some, some referrals off of it. And in 12 months, if a human being running all of this can do that for you, this thing is more than paid for itself. And we'll, I know it's a uh, very high level what I covered today, but we want to make this very, very risk free for you as well. So what we do is when you sign up with us, it's a 12 month commitment. But if in the first 60 days, once you've understood the program in its entirety, if you don't want it, if you're not comfortable with it, if, you know, it, if it's not what you thought it was going to be, you can totally opt out and any of your subscription fees, you get those back, um, full money back guarantee for those first 60 days. So as part of the group today, you guys are getting a fantastic offer. Instead of the 6,900 a year, it's cut down to 4,900. And what we're going to do is we're going to waive that um, setup fee for anybody that signs up here before the end of February for Social Connect. So just as a recap, what that is really for is to optimize any lead generation service you've ever done in the past or that you plan on doing this year. If you do not have a robust virtual presence in 2021, you absolutely will miss out on prospects wanting to talk to you. There was a recent study that said over 70% of prospects are gonna go to a professional's LinkedIn page and research them before they decide to do business with them. And then the second step from there is Facebook. They're gonna look at you on LinkedIn to see if you're professional, and then they're gonna hop over to your business Facebook page and see what you're like as a person. And if you don't have a robust and professional warm appearance on those two sites, you absolutely are gonna miss out with prospects wanting to do business with you. And I 100% believe in this service because it takes all that effort off of your plate. Again, you don't have to worry about the um, what is going on on all those social channels and what all the changes in the algorithms are and the data. Like We're gonna handle that for you and it's gonna be run better than someone in your office working off of one data point. So I 100% believe in that service and think that every advisor needs to have a robust social media presence. And at some point, there's gonna be a, a tipping point in the scale where it's going to be just like not having a website is just considered unprofessional. I don't think we're 100% there yet, but we are dangerously close to prospects not being able to find you on LinkedIn, thinking that, okay, this person is probably not legitimate. They're not a professional. Um, so here's just a quick case study for Social Connect. We had a, a regular seminar user for us that's been with White Club since 2015, and I talked to him at the beginning of 2020, and I said, Kurt, you are going to love Social Connect. We have to get you on this program. And he fought me tooth and nail, to be honest. He said, I hate Facebook. I don't want anything to do with it. I hate social media. I don't want to be on there. I don't want my business associated with it. And I said, you might not like it, but your prospects are on it. And they're going to hear from somebody. And if, they, if you don't want your prospects hearing from you, who do you want them hearing from? And at that point, we took on his, his social media. We took on his nurturing. Seven months later, he actually got um, two direct appointments off the article that he closed and brought in 23000 in upfront commission, a million in assets under management. And he flat out said, these are clients that I would have not gotten otherwise, because you know what? I followed up with them for a couple of weeks and then, you know what, put them in the drip campaign and, the, and the, they maybe got an email once a month from me. And that was it. There was no efforts going on. So I 100% believe that if you do not have a robust nurturing, multi-channeled nurturing program in 2021, you will miss out on some of the gold that is just sitting there in your current CRM not being utilized the most. You know, if you got an Excel spreadsheet of leads that you bought back in 2015 that you're doing nothing with, you know, 
give Social Connect a good look. And there's going to be an offer for that as well. Something brand new that we came out with. And think of this as being a, a guest um, a guest expert on your local news station. We have an established educational podcast where advisors can come on as their as the local expert. They record an episode. We publish it on all the podcasting channels. And then we put paid ad spend behind it and promote that episode out into your desired area with you as the guest expert. So think of this as a, a not necessarily starting your own podcast because that can take years and years building up fan bases and getting credibility and getting people to recognize you. But this is more of a kind of jumping to the front of the line and saying, hey, I was, I was featured on a educational podcast as an expert. The credibility that comes behind that, as well as being able to add in just another medium for your prospects and your clients to hear you on is absolutely phenomenal. So we handle absolutely everything when it comes to the podcast. We actually send you out professional podcasting equipment that you get to keep. We do a 30 to 45 minute um, interview with you that we'll professionally edit it after. And we're going to do a pre um, pre call strategy session so we can dive into what you want to talk about. And then we actually host it with a professional voice um, professional voiceover who will interview you. And um, it's absolutely awesome. If you've, if you've ever had a chance to listen to my podcast, Be Advised, um, we use the same service. You know, White Club does the same service for me as they would, would for you on that. But there's a professional voice coach that does the intro and outro, and they do all the, the questions for you. It's, it's awesome, and it's very turnkey. You just show up, talk for 30 to 45 minutes, and then we're going to put together a a whole promo kit that you can push out on your social media. If you're using Social Connect, we're going to do that for you. Um, but it's it's $2,900 for an episode, and it is an amazing piece of content that you can use over and over again to send out to new leads, to your current clients. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful service to add in there. And what we wanted to do with anybody on the webinar today, and then I'm going to do a sneak peek of um, an exclusive service that you guys are going to get to hear about before the, the rest of the world. But we're doing uh, a discount on your first webinar with us where we're going to take $30 off the household and we're going to waive that setup fee and take $2,000 off the, the yearly price for Social Connect. You don't have to pay uh, a year up front with Social Connect. You can select $450 a month. You save a little bit of money if you pay up front, but either way, it's a year long commitment for that. So anybody that is interested, that is the link to to sign up. Um, Curtis, I don't know if you could put that in the chat. I don't know if um, GoTo allows you to click directly off the screen, um, but if you can fill that out, just let us know you're interested. We'll lock you into that deal. And then essentially what we'll do is this is good as long as you place an order before the end of February. And before we get into questions, I just want to highlight two quick things that aren't officially rolled out yet, but because we're all good friends here, I wanted you guys to be aware of them first. Um, Profile Plus is what essentially every time we take a registrant for a workshop or a seminar or a webinar, we put them into what we call our advisor portal, and that's where you're going to get access to them. It tracks them all. It puts them all in one spot for you. You can see um, everyone who's registered for your event and what we are our little advisor portal that we have. But Profile Plus is what we do is after we've taken that regist registrant, what we do is we bounce that up against um, a backend data company and then append additional data to those leads for you so that you can have nice warm um, intros when you're talking to these people. So you have a little bit more background information. Now it doesn't have a hundred percent connect rate as far as pulling that additional data, but it is um, a awesome service that gives you more insight to all of your registrants for all of your events. So that's going to be coming out here in Q1. Um, and then the thing that I'm most excited about is our one-on-one -on -one workshops. So what this is, in short, is we're going to run an educational ad for taxes and retirement or estate planning, or there's actually a couple of additional topics like 401k IRA rollovers. Um, and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to run an ad where someone's going to sign up for a private 30-minute informational session with an advisor. As soon as they, they get to pick a date, they get to pick a time. As soon as they do that, we actually hit them with qualifying questions to say, hey, do you have an advisor? When do you plan on retiring? What is your um, current investable assets? And once we've kind of deemed them as qualified, we're going to re-verify their email address, verify their phone number. Once we've done all of that, 
then we will book that directly on the advisor's calendar. Now, we don't stop there. It's a virtual meeting. It's, it's hosted on a Zoom or similar platform. White Glove will actually put a human being on every single call where we do a nice warm intro. So John Smith signs up, he wants to learn about taxes and retirement. We're gonna get on there first and hey John, can you hear us? Can you see this? Can you see my video okay? Is everything great? Okay, perfect. We're gonna bring on our, our, our professional here that's gonna answer all of your tax questions for you today on your retirement. And you know what, here is Joe Smith advisor. You know, meet John, you guys are great, good. We bounce off, let you run that first meeting. And advisors only pay if that prospect shows up. So you're gonna get a qualified prospect in attendance that you can meet virtually face-to-face -face and answer their direct questions. Now we ran 30 of these through um, one office in December. We've been testing this for four months now. Um, we ran 30 of these through one direct office. They, they stumbled a little bit out the gate because they're normal seminar users and they, they kind of didn't know how to run that first appointment. But after they kind of got their stride, they said, hey, you know what? We're gonna go through a fact finder and we're gonna book a second meeting with these people. And what they ended up doing was 75% of the people that attended that first virtual session booked a second meeting and the average asset size, and this is what I was most excited about, the average asset size that they spoke with was 850,000 in investable assets or more. And that's what makes me so per, super excited about this because you're getting right to the person that wants to have a conversation. They want to have their questions answered. Now, obviously it's marketing. There's going to be that person that shows up and says he has no money um, and maybe he doesn't or maybe he doesn't feel um, the trust has developed yet. But that makes me very excited that 75% are booking second meetings and that there is you know, quality in those rooms. Now those advisors were running mostly estate planning or the 401k topic. But again, that's, they're not up for public sale yet. We have not done a full launch. As part of the IAMS group, you are able to get into this program before anybody else in our list. So if you have interest in that, you know, fill out that form today. That's gonna to get you those deals on um, the Social Connect and the webinar. But it's also gonna say, hey, you know what? If you're interested in those one-on-one -on -one workshops, that is something that we can get for you. So on average, we're seeing about a 40% attendance rate. No shows again are free, um, but an attended household that you get to speak to for a half an hour that's interested in that topic, those are running right now at 699 per attended meeting. Now, if they don't show up, those are free. So typically you're getting you know, two to three leads per attended meeting. But if you're interested in that, when you fill out that form and we're gonna get in contact with you, just let us know that, hey, you know what? Brad let the cat out of the bag with the one-on-one <laughs> -on -one workshops. And those are totally available for you guys if you have interest in those before we make big announcements to the public. And with that, Curtis, I'd love to kind of kick it back to you, see if there's any questions. I know I spoke very quickly on a lot of this stuff, um, but again, the resources are up on the, on the site from the virtual event. So we'd be happy to answer any questions if we're able to now. And um, yeah, I'd love to, love to hear what we got. Yeah, Brad. So I, I really appreciate you taking through this. That was uh that was a lot of really good material to cover uh, in the time frame that you did. And I, I, one of the things I really like, and you really made a, a, I think a really good point on this is success with digital marketing. Isn't just doing advertising. You, you've got to have that funnel. You've got to have that awareness out there. Uh, you made a really good point about the fact that uh, you know, normally a prospect's not going to call you and say they couldn't find you online. They're just not going to call you. They're not going to, uh, they're going to no show an appointment or they're not going to engage with the marketing that you're doing. And, uh, you know, what we don't want and what shouldn't be going on is agent shouldn't be an expert on that. You shouldn't be an expert on content syndication, posting, all those types of things. You need to focus on what you do well. And when you're doing digital marketing, what you're going to find is you're going to have a segment of that audience that's ready to do something right now. Um, they're going to meet with you. They're going to do something, but you're also going to have a segment of that audience where, uh, you know, again, when somebody's thinking about doing something, where do you go? You go online, you start doing some research. Maybe you're not going to retire until December this year, but you're going to start thinking about that before you actually do. And so 
uh, the ability to have a consistent drip and a consistent touch is critically important uh, with digital marketing. It's it's important with uh, traditional forms of marketing. So I, Brad, I really like that you re, you guys have really built out some infrastructure to support that because, I mean, it is a challenge. It's not easy coming up with what do I post, where do I get the content, how do I do all of that, and then the time that it takes to uh, do that on a weekly basis, right? Because it's not something that you do once a month. I mean, that's you need to have advertising going on on a weekly basis, correct? Totally agree, and I couldn't stress the fact more that it's it's hard to understand the algorithms between LinkedIn and Facebook, and you know the more data points you can look at. I mean, if you don't use us, that's fine, but the more data points you can see of what's working, that's what's going to make your social media effective. And you're you were spot on. I love that. I'm going to start using that line too. It, they're not going to call you to say they couldn't find you on on social media. They're just not going to call. Right. And and that that probably is better than anything I said. So I love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what I would tell everybody is um, you've got the link there. We will go ahead and circulate that link as well for everybody on the call uh, today. I would encourage you uh, again. We uh, White Glove did a very good job uh, at the Ascend Summit. So they've got some really good content and information on there. Uh, reach out to us with questions. Phone number is 800-255-5055. And we'll also have uh, we'll also have the sales team reaching out to you as well uh, to follow up on this. But I, I hope what you see is the same thing we do, which is there there is significant opportunity out there. And if you guys have tried doing advertising digitally, maybe you had some success, maybe you didn't. But I, I hope one of the core takeaways that you see is Brad and his team they've got this down. They do this consistently. And again. Their model aligns very much with uh, what we're focused on as well, which is results. They're not just saying, hey, we're, we're going to charge you and then we go work and maybe it works or maybe it doesn't. They have a vested interest in producing results, which is getting you in front of a consistent flow of people. So, Brad, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us uh, today. I really appreciate uh, you putting together some really good offers for the team here. And again, give us a call, reach out to us. We're here to support your business and we want to help you have an amazing 2021. So Brad, thank you. And for the, the agents on the call today, we appreciate you taking the time as well. Thank you, sir. Happy to be here.